What is gross domestic product? Gross domestic product, GDP, is an indicator which measures a country's wealth, that is, everything that is produced in the country in one year. To calculate this GDP, one option is to add up the values added to everything that is produced in the country. We can identify two types of added value. Values added to non-commercial products, meaning those produced by administrations, such as an hour class given by a teacher, and values added to commercial products, meaning those produced by private enterprises. These are equal to their sales revenue, that is, the price of their products, multiplied by the quantity of products sold, minus all goods and services used or converted during production, or intermediate consumption. The concept of price is therefore found through the added values used to calculate GDP. This is called nominal GDP. However, if prices increase year on year, GDP will also increase, while the quantity produced will not have increased. To compare a country's level of wealth from year to year, we therefore need to remove the variation in price in order to find out only the variation in quantity produced. To do this, we use the Consumer Price Index, CPI, measured by INSEE, the National Institute for Statistics and Economic Studies. We can then find the real GDP. Bear in mind that if we want to compare different countries' levels of wealth, we must convert their GDPs into a single currency, the dollar PPP purchasing power parity. This allows us to eliminate the difference in price levels between countries. We also need to take into account the number of inhabitants per country. The more inhabitants there are, the more significant overall production may be. Each country's GDP is therefore divided by its number of inhabitants. We therefore find out the potential wealth for each inhabitant. However, a country's wealth is not necessarily limited to its production. It may also take into account the quality of life experienced in that country. Other indicators such as gross national happiness, GNH, factor in health or work-life balance, for example. These new criteria are still difficult to measure but they do offer a new option when considering how we view the economy.